Hey guys, I'm Leo Rank, the Guitar Maniac. Recently I made a review about the Harley Benton Power Plant ISO 2 Pro power supply. And this video is about to become the most viewed on my YouTube channel. Not because I made such an incredible video, but rather because a lot of people are interested in this power supply. And my video is the only review in internet. Well, I tried to make uh, the full non-biased review, but still a lot of people ask me about whether they should buy it or not. I guess people just like uh, short yes or no answers. So the short answer, yes, you should definitely buy it, it's uh, totally worth it. The long answer, it depends on what do you actually need. Well, why would you need this type of uh, brick power supply. Most probably you have more than one storm box and you want to power those uh, without the batteries. The most... Uh, uh, the cheapest solution would be using this one power supply and uh, a daisy chain cable. But in this case you might get a lot of uh, interference noise, so you should avoid this type of solution. And why would you want to use the Harley Benton? Well, most probably you are on low budget and there is actually nothing wrong with Harley Benton stuff. A lot of uh, their products are not uh, just uh, for the beginner musicians. You can use them as a professional musician and buying some different brand that is much more expensive uh, isn't always uh, a good uh, way because you can get no difference in some cases and you spend much more money. So I actually made a list with all the Harley Benton power plant uh, power supplies. And so I'll try uh, to help you to decide whether you need one of those and if you need, which one would you prefer, depending on your specifications. So let's start with the cheapest one. It's the Harley Benton Power Plant Junior. It's only 33 euro. So if you have some minimalistic pedal board with five or less storm boxes, and each of those requires a nine volt and less than 120 milliamperes, this one is definitely for you. It has five isolated outputs and it's um, all you need. In some cases, if you have, uh, for example, a couple of uh, not power hungry storm boxes and uh, the one that requires more than 120 milliamperes, you can actually connect the multiple outputs of the power plant junior, and with each further connection, uh, you get 120 milliamperes uh, more. I made actually the full review on it. You may check it out either under the video or it should pop up somewhere here. So this one is uh, worth of buying. Uh, there are a couple of problems with it. First of all, it doesn't have short circuit protection, so you should be careful with it. And another one, it requires uh, 230 volts. So it would work in Europe, but if you are going on tour in the USA, this wouldn't work there. So basically, if you have minimalistic pedal board, this one is definitely for you. So let's move on. The next on the list is Harley Benton Power Plant Power Band. Well, this is uh, the rechargeable battery. And to be honest, I haven't tried it. Maybe I'll make another episode on this uh, uh, power bank. Stay tuned. Though. Next on the list is Harley Benton Power Plant, the original one. Uh, this one, blue brick. So I made a full review on it and this one is uh, the one that you should avoid. Because it's nothing but a daisy chain in a box and you get a lot of noise. So the next on the list for 49 euro is the Harley Benton Power Plant Flex. I actually made uh, the full review on that as well. 
Well, they try to make a couple of more uh, features on this, but uh, still it's a daisy chain in the box and you get a lot of noise with it as well. So this one is uh, the one that I can't recommend, you should avoid it as well. So the next on the list for the, uh, 49 euro as well is the Harley Benton Powerplant ISO 1. Well, I've got a couple of questions about it as well, and maybe people haven't watched my uh, Powerplant ISO 2 Pro video until the end. Well, the thing is, I haven't tried it yet. So, when I reviewed Harley Benton Powerplant and Powerplant Junior, I actually thought that one is the smaller version of uh, the other, but actually the Powerplant Junior has isolated outputs and Powerplant is uh, daisy chain in a box. So, maybe the Powerplant ISO 1 is a smaller version of the ISO 2, but still I haven't tried it yet and I can't claim something that I haven't tried. And if you watched the original video up to the end, I told all the conditions uh, when I will review the Powerplant ISO 1. When the original video hits uh, 20,000 views, I'll order the Powerplant ISO 1, I'll review it, and after that, if it's good, I'll make a giveaway to one of my subscribers. Because YouTube shut down my monetization and I need to get uh, the subscribers and viewers at some point, so this is the, the, the deal. Well, otherwise, this is supposed to seem to have eight isolated outputs with uh, only nine volt, and each of those uh, provides uh, 300 milliamperes. On the homepage, it says so that it is good for digital uh, uh, storm boxes. Well, a lot of digital storm boxes have uh, CPUs that require a lot of power and it's not always the case, but still you may check this out and actually Tormund has a good return policy and if it's not good you can check it out uh, for yourself. So let's move on on the list. We have the power plant uh, tuner junior. It's um, 49 euro as well. Well, this is tuner and power supply com combined together. Actually, there is nothing wrong with it because in most of the cases you'll need tuner anyway and you can save space on your pedal board. Well, but I have a couple of concerns about it because I don't know if uh, the outputs are isolated. I can't actually say anything about it. So the next on the list is uh, the Harley Benton Power Plant Tuner. It's 65 euro and the same problem. I have no idea if the outputs are isolated or not. So I can't tell anything about it. I can't recommend it. You may check it out for yourself. And as I said, Tommen has nice return policy. If you get interference noise, you can still return the, this uh, to Tommen and get your money back within the 30 days. So I don't see a problem with it. And the last one for 69 euro is the Harley Benton Powerplant ISO 2 Pro. So, in which case would you need this one? So, if you have some power hungry storm boxes and some of those required well for 18 volt, or some of those require 9 volt but still they are power hungry, so this one is actually for you. The good thing about it, it can work uh, 
with 120 and 240 volts or anything between it, so this is really good for touring musicians and this one has isolated outputs, I made a review about it, I can definitely recommend it. So the ISO 1 seems to be the same as the ISO 2, with the only 8 uh, 9 volt outputs, and so basically if you don't need uh, the, the 12 volt outputs, you may grab the Harley Benton ISO 1, but still keep in mind I haven't tried the ISO 1 uh, so far. Well, the good thing about it, besides that it can work in any part of the world, is that it has the LEDs and if you overload the outputs, it uh, lights red. And it has uh, short circuit protection, so actually this one is a really professional thing. I hope this video was useful for you and I could uh, clarify a couple of things. So, thanks for watching and keep on rocking. Well, a couple of more things. About the power plant, power bank, power plant tuner junior and power plant uh, tuner original. Let's make this way. As soon as I hit the 1000 subscribers, I'll order these three devices. And I'll check it out and I'll tell you my personal opinion about it, whether it's worth of buying or not. And so, until the next time, stay tuned and keep on rocking.